Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. Myself, Neerja Verma, I am working as professor in Department of Library and Information Science, Maharani Lakshmiwai, Government College of Excellence, Gwalior, Madhya Pradesh. Today, I am going to discuss the module Information Literacy in Higher Education from the paper Library Use and User Studies. This module will help you to understand the concept of information literacy, to understand the need of information literacy in higher education, to know information literacy and competency standards in higher education, and to know the initiatives taken by higher education institutions for information literacy. First of all, we see what is literacy. Information literacy is directly related to literacy. And literacy as defined in census operations is the ability to read and write with understanding in any language. A person who can merely read but cannot write is not classified as literate. Any formal education or minimum educational standard is not necessary to be considered literate. Now we will see what is the origin of information literacy. The term information literacy first appeared in library literature during 1970s. The phrase information literacy first appeared in print in a 1974 report by Paul G. Zurkowski. It was written on behalf of the National Commission on Libraries and Information Science. Zurkowski used the phrase to describe the techniques and skills known by the information literate for utilizing the wide range of information tools as well as primary sources in molding information solutions to their problems. Now we come to definitions of information literacy. The United States National Forum on Information Literacy defines information literacy as the ability to know when there is a need for information, to be able to identify, locate, evaluate and effectively use that information for the issue or problem at hand. Information literacy embraces related concepts like user education, library instruction, bibliographic instruction. American Library Association Presidential Committee on information literacy define information literate as information literate people are those who have learned how to learn they know how to learn because they know how knowledge is organized how to find information and how to use information in such a way that others can learn from them they are people prepared for lifelong learning because they can always find the information needed for any task or decision at hand. Information literacy is the ability to access, evaluate and use information from a variety of sources. Information literacy includes several things such as library literacy, media literacy, computer or information technology literacy or digital literacy. A student must literate in these fields. Information literacy has been defined as a set of abilities to recognize 
when information is needed and have the ability to locate, evaluate and use needed information effectively. This is the visual show of types of information literacy. Here we see the main things which include information literacy. First is media literacy, then network literacy, computer literacy, traditional alphabetic literacy, library instruction, cultural literacy and visual literacy. These can be called components of information literacy. There are various objectives of information literacy. These are to produce competent independent learners, to develop confidence in learners, to solve problems, to know the learners what is relevant information, to access information from technological tools, to use high standards for their work and use information ethically, to create quality products. Other objectives of information literacy are information literacy is essential to acquaint the users with the power of internet. It is necessary to acquaint the users with the use of various search techniques to retrieve. Information literacy helps to show the usefulness of various multimedia resources and online and CD-ROM databases. It also helps to show how web resources could be of immense use and it is essential to recognize the need for information and to evaluate, organize, interpret and communicate information in all its formats. Now we see who is an information literate person. An information literate individual is able to determine the extent of information needed, access the needed information effectively and efficiently. He or she is able to evaluate information and its sources critically, incorporate selected information into one's knowledge base. He or she use information effectively to accomplish a specific purpose and he or she is able to understand the economic, legal and social issues surrounding the use of information and access and use information ethically and legally. This is the visual show of the information literate person. The person is able to identify first component, then able to find second component, then able to evaluate third component, then able to apply and acknowledge the information. Here is the information literacy cycle. This is the diagrammatic representation of information literacy cycle and this shows all the components of information literacy that is apply, question, source, find, evaluate, combine and share. Now we see what is the need of information literacy. First reason is information explosion. That is too much information is being published in printed form. Then next reason is different kinds of information resources are available in electronic form. Another reason for information literacy is information is available from television, radio, videos, etc. Means we can get information from TV shows, from radios and from videos. Then other reason for information literacy are availability of databases that is online and CD-ROM databases. Then one more reason is internet. Then 
different kinds of information needs of different kinds of users and different kinds of search techniques. So, these are the reasons to for information literacy. Students and teachers can get their required information from library, media and through internet. The students and teachers must familiar with different kinds of information resources including digital resources. They must literate to identify their required information to evaluate and interpret that information. They must literate with new information technologies. They must familiar with use of e-resources, OPEC that is online public access catalog, database searching, use of internet, etc. To cope up with these things, teachers and students must information literate. Hence, information literacy education is essential for them. In 2000, the Association of College and Research Libraries, that is ACRL, a division of the American Library Association, released information literacy competency standards for higher education, describing five standards and numerous performance indicators considered best practices for the implementation and assessment of post-secondary information literacy programs. The five standards are Standard 1. The information literate student determines the nature and extent of the information needed. Standard 2 is the information literate student accesses needed information effectively and efficiently. Standard 3 is the information literate student evaluates information and its sources critically and incorporates selected information into his or her knowledge base and value system. Standard 4 is the information literate student individually or as a member of a group uses information effectively to accomplish a specific purpose. And the last standard 5 is the information literate student understands many of the economic, legal and social issues surrounding the use of information and accesses and uses information ethically and legally. There are various accepted information literacy models. The important one is the Big Six model that is the Big Six Skills Information Problem Solving Approach to Information Skills Instruction by Mike Eisenberg and Bob Workovitz, which is given in 1990. This model is implemented in thousands of schools through higher education. This model consists of six steps. First step is task definition. Second step is information seeking strategies. Third step is location and access. Fourth step is use of information. Fifth step is synthesis. And the last sixth step is evaluation. This is the diagrammatic representation of information literacy model big six. Another information literacy model is known as SCONUL, S-C-O-N-U-L, that is Society of College, National and University Libraries in the year 1999. It is a seven pillar model used to promote excellence in library services in higher education and national libraries across the United Kingdom and Ireland. The seven pillars are the ability to recognize a need for information. This is the first pillar. Then the second pillar is the ability to distinguish ways in which the information gap 
may be addressed. Third pillar is the ability to construct strategies for locating information. The fourth pillar is the ability to locate and access information. The fifth pillar is the ability to compare and evaluate information obtained from different sources. Sixth pillar is the ability to organize, apply and communicate information to others in ways appropriate to the situation. And the seventh pillar is the ability to synthesize and build upon existing information contributing to the creation of new knowledge. Here is the diagrammatic representation of Sconul model. Seven pillars of information literacy in this model are these. Universities and other institutions of higher learning should be responsible for producing students to meet the demands of the information age. Information literacy education is essential to produce such type of students. Developing lifelong learner is central to the mission of higher education institutions. Several efforts have been done to produce information literate students. Now we will talk about efforts for information literacy in higher education. There is a need to incorporate information literacy programs in the academic curriculum to produce information literate students. Information literacy can be incorporated in curriculum in number of ways. There are several examples of this approach. Bill Johnson and Sheila Weber in 2003 in their paper entitled Information Literacy in Higher Education, a Review and Case Study discussed the current state of information literacy education in the United Kingdom. United States of America and Australia. They discuss the place of information literacy in the higher education curriculum and identify the problems with current practice. They concluded after their survey that information literacy is an important key discipline of the information society and they proposed a model of the information literate student and vision of the information literate university. In India, several efforts have also been done for information literacy in higher education. One important effort is the Department of Library and Information Science of University of Delhi has included a paper entitled Information Literacy Applications in Library and Information Science at master's level from academic session 2009 to 2010. Several library schools of different Indian universities included information literacy as a topic in a paper in curriculum of master of library and information science such as Gujarat University. Teachers play an important role in shaping the student information literacy skills in their classrooms. Some argue that it is the duty of librarian to impart information literacy education by organizing several information literacy programs in the library. No doubt it is right, but it is complete when the faculty takes time in imparting them in their classroom too. So there should be a collective effort. Students in India are too dependent on the teachers for their information. Efforts can be done collectively by teachers and librarian to impart information literacy education. So both can act as a facilitator for information literacy. Several efforts have been done for information literacy in higher education to organize information literacy programs for faculty and students. 
universities and colleges and their libraries must give a platform to their students for sharing their views by organizing discussions workshops guest lectures orientation and refresher programs seminars and conferences teachers play a key role in providing students with diverse opportunities to learn how to use information wisely information literacy education for teachers helps to improve their ability to locate access evaluate and synthesize information needed to complete academic coursework for their students faculty can mentor or coach their students with use of new technologies such as use of internet powerpoint presentations audio visual aids etc to cope up the teachers with new information and communication technologies information literacy education is essential for teachers also academic staff college of different universities organize orientation and refresher courses for teachers information literacy education may be incorporated in these courses a variety of programs are being used in the united states of america united kingdom and other european countries however there is a need to develop information literacy programs which are more suitable in indian higher education environment keeping in view the skills and competencies of college students delhi university and madras university have started information literacy programs university and college libraries should conduct the orientation programs for the faculty and students to make them aware of electronic resources and how to use these resources delhi university library system comprising of more than 30 libraries has started information literacy and competency program with a view to empower the students researchers and faculty members to seek evaluate use and create information effectively and efficiently to achieve their educational social occupational and personal goals the basic purpose behind this entire effort was to make the users of delhi university library system aware about the library services in general including the electronic resources several information literacy programs have been organized for library and information professionals also ifla has established an information literacy section this section has developed and information literacy resources directory called info lit global librarians educators and information professionals may self register and upload information literacy related materials according to ifla website the primary purpose of the information literacy section is to foster international cooperation in the development of information literacy education in all types of libraries and information institutions u wired is an information literacy program established at the university of washington it is a campus wide effort the chief goal of the program is to create an electronic community in which communication collaboration and information technologies are integral to teaching and learning there are several institutions that run continuing professional development courses and programs for library and information professionals in india niskear ila islic are involved in continuous professional development programs library of university of hyderabad had run training sessions in small groups with hands on experience for all users with training to use the opaque 
that is online public access catalog in india UGC has taken sincere efforts to bring a boost in the higher education system by introducing UGC InfoNet e-journals consortium project. InfoNet, that is Information and Library Network, the coordinating agency for UGC InfoNet project, has been conducted various training programs, user awareness programs workshops and seminars to research scholars, faculty members and library staff of 40 universities across the country. Realizing the importance of information literacy, the Central Library of IIT Madras is deeply engaged in information literacy activities through bringing out various brochures, pamphlets, fact sheets, tutorials, conferences, invited talks, specialized presentations for the faculty, students, industries, library staff and librarians. Now we will talk about conferences and seminar especially on information literacy. There are several national and international conferences especially on information literacy. In 2003, the National Forum on Information Literacy, together UNESCO and the National Commission on Libraries and Information Science, sponsored an international conference in Prague with representatives from some 23 countries to discuss the importance of information literacy within a global context. As a result of this conference, the International Alliance for Information Literacy, that is IAIL, was formed. One of its goals is to allow for the sharing of information literacy research and knowledge between nations. IFLA Information Literacy Section organized an annual satellite conference associated with the IFLA World Library and Information Congress. Within the UK, there has been a Librarians Information Literacy Annual Conference that is LILAC in 2005 by an information literacy group of Chartered Institute of Library and Information Professionals, which is known as CILIP. European Conference on Information Literacy, that is ECIL, held its first conference during 22nd to 25th October 2013 in Istanbul, Turkey. An international workshop to promote information literacy in South and Southeast Asia was held at Punjab University, Patiala. With the support of UNESCO and other partners from 3rd and 7th October 2005, around 65 delegates representing Bangladesh, India, Malaysia, Nepal, Pakistan, Singapore, Sri Lanka and Thailand had participated in the workshop. The workshop had been organized by Jaktar Singh, director for the South Asia region section of the International Association of School Librarianship that is IASL. The title of this workshop was Empowering 8 Applying a Problem Solving Model in South and Southeast Asia to promote information literacy. An international conference on knowledge networking in ICT era was held from 22nd to 24th January 2009 in Chennai, organized by Society for the Advancement of Library and Information Science, that is SALIS. B.S. Abdul Rahman 
recent engineering college chennai with unesco there was a special session on information media and digital literacy and there are various presentations on different aspects on information literacy in this session one more international conference on information literacy society has been held recently from 6 to 8th march 2014 in department of library and information science north eastern hill university shillong so students let us summarize what we have learned from this module in this module attempt has been made to discuss about the origin and need of information literacy components of information literacy information literacy and competency standards information literacy models and initiatives taken for information literacy in higher education